Hello and welcome to the WIHS Journal Public Affairs Program. I'm Jerry Williams. Well, you can catch him heading up a Bible study. You can catch him emceeing a monthly open mic while telling jokes in between. You can even catch him at the cash register. I'm talking about John Summers. And all these things and more that I mentioned takes place at the Apostle Store in Southington. Hear John's story happening now on the WHS Journal. It's news and public affairs. Well, he's a retired 30-year veteran of the Hamden Police Department. He's a brother in the Lord that helps out with the Apostle Store and monthly open mic coffee house in Southington. And he's joining us right now. He's John Summers. Good morning, John. How are you, sir? Good morning, Jerry. Pleasure to be here. Thank you for coming, man. Where are you from? I'm originally from Hamden. Yep, Hamden. Uh, currently living in Middlebury right now, but been many places, a nomad. <laughs> so what was your life like, your upbringing like? Good, good. I mean, it's a little difficult childhood, but uh, for the most part, mom and dad get, did their best. Uh, mom sowed the seeds of faith uh, at an early age with um, Sunday school and everything else like that. And uh, yeah, it was, it was good. It was good. Your nutshell testimony in coming to Christ, how did it all happen for you? Well, uh, like I said, there were some struggles. Uh, mom was a, an older mom uh, when she had me. Uh, my siblings are about 15 years older than me. Um, so basically, I had an affirmation type of uh, searching in my life, uh, searching for that love, and I was always a people pleaser. Um, and basically, uh, through childhood, through school, and everything like that, always trying to get that acceptance from people in my life. And um, it wasn't until I found Christ, or Christ found me, that I realized that uh, I'm already loved, and uh, there's a purpose for my life. And If you're just joining us, we are with John Summers, your career as a police officer. How did that all begin? What inspired you to go into law enforcement? Seasons of life. Uh, basically, like I said, through my childhood, Jim Morrison was my idol, so that kind of tells you where my heart was at. Wait, wait a minute, Jim, Jim Morrison of the Doors? <laughs> of the Doors, <laughs> yes. He was my idol through high school, so that kind of tell you where my heart was at at that point of a teenager and so forth. But uh, um, I had my oldest son when I was 18, and uh, he's such a blessing right now, too, as well. I took a job as a dispatcher in a police department. And it kind of intrigued me to be on that side of the microphone to see what was going on beyond on the streets. And um, again, my mother had a heart for helping people and that kind of drew me in. I wanted to see what was on the other side of the microphone and uh, being out there on the street and, and so forth. So uh, God opened some doors and opportunities for me and started as a supernumerary, which is a volunteer police officer and, and basically got intrigued and Took numerous tests and finally, uh, you know, received an offer from Hamden. John Summers is our guest, 30 years in the department. At what number of years out of the 30 did you become a brother in the Lord? 27. 27, 27 years. years of my 30 years. Uh, I was a Christian. Um, like I said, I always knew that, you know, God had a special call and a plan upon my life. And, um, I just didn't know that it was a relationship and it wasn't about trying to earn his love. Um, so it was tremendous blessing to be a Christian, uh, a brother, and, and just having him inside me to comfort me, guide my words, be able to uh, seek his help in, in all the situations that I went on as far as helping other brother and sister officers that were going through some really tough times because so as a police officer, you see so many things that, um, and decisions that you have to make uh, that are um, on the spot, and, and you need somebody to process that. And I was very grateful that the Lord was my go-to to process all that. 30 years. 30 years on the job, and I was a Christian, 27. Praise God. So are there any of the guys you're still in contact with? Yeah, I get together on a monthly basis with a few of the guys, um, stay in contact, uh, you know, social media and stuff with them and see what's going on and, and so forth. Uh, but I know there's a lot of brothers, other departments throughout the state um, that love the Lord, you know, and trying to follow him and, and just trying to be that light and that, that witness to other people in the communities that they're, they're serving in. Um, were, were there any moments uh, in, in the course of your... 
27 years as a, as a believer on the force where there was a situation where you had to arrest someone and you spoke some words of life to an individual. Did you always keep it professional and you kept that separate? Was there a story or incident that stand out that you can share? Actually, it's, it's, it's quite ironic because uh, at one time in my career, I actually was reprimanded for sharing my faith. And now all these years later, actually a year after this happened, uh, the captain called me in the office and he, he said, uh, the local newspaper is doing an article and they want to somebody to share, talk about their faith behind the badge. Wow. And I thought of you. And I said, well, you, you just told me a year ago I couldn't. But no, I, I, would, I would use every opportunity to witness uh, hope to all the people that I dealt with. You know, timing is everything. I would go into every call asking God for his wisdom and protection, no matter, you know, some really crazy situations. Yeah, it was uh, so many stories I can share that, that he was there. Um, he used me in many ways, and i um, so honored that he did. John Summers is our guest, 30-year uh, veteran of the Hamden Police Department. So you've been retired for how long now? About 12 years. About yeah, 12 years? 12 years, yeah. Do you miss it? I do. You do? I do, yeah. Seasons of life, like I say. Right. Different ages and, and different things, raising your family, your kids uh, in the middle of your career, towards the end of your career. But I always used to say it was a, a job and a career, but who I was was Christ inside of me. Right. Be right. able to share with people and, and just. Do you ever go back and visit the guys there? No, not really, no. because a lot, actually a lot of the guys are gone. A lot yeah. of the guys retired right. themselves and so forth. And, you know, I like to share about, you're talking about being opportunities. Uh, I used to do what they call the prisoner run, bring the prisoners to court right. for arraignment. And a lot of times, a lot of them, you know, uh, I always say treat people the way you want to be treated or your family member. They would ask me advice. What's going to happen? What's the judge going to say? And I would be, I would say, just be very sincere in your heart. The judges have seen everything. They heard every excuse. And I said, I want to pray for you, too. And once they heard prayer, I mean, person in that situation, most of them wanted prayer. And then it would open up a door to share my faith with them about how much Christ loved me and how much they, he loves them and uh, will forgive them. Yeah, it was just awesome. That's, I miss those kind of opportunities or situations of uh, helping people. And, and we're the most wanted people and the most unwanted people, <laughs> depending on your right. approach, you know. Right. But it was a blessing. Oftentimes you'll find um, a person that's retired from the police force they retire into part-time work as a security guard. Did you do any of that? <laughs> no. No, I wanted nothing to do with any kind of uniform again. Um, a shirt, a shorts and tank top type of guy. And, yeah. Uh, family guy now. I mean, I got all my grandkids and my kids, and I just want to wish ev uh, everybody, um, you know, it's Memorial Day weekend right now, and I had a very good friend of mine who was a Vietnam vet. He, he said to me, he, he said, you know, he sat down and he said, John, uh, he said, I really appreciate you thanking me for my service. But he said, this time of year, he said, uh, it's not for me. He said, it's for those that have sacrificed their lives. Um, and uh, he said, then don't call it a happy, call it a grateful day for what the families and sacrifices that. And I just want to wish everyone a grateful Memorial Day weekend. Pray that you're with your families celebrating uh, what other people have done for you, but keep those families in prayer for uh, comfort during this time because it might be a very difficult time of year because their loved one is not here with us right now. By the way, we just come off a of National Police Week, right? Yeah, yeah, amen. That's uh, it's really good. And, you know, again, I, I was saying that police officers are your – brothers, your sisters, your fathers, mothers, aunts, uncles, whatever they are. We, they are human. They have emotions, processing things as well. Just yesterday, they celebrated a memorial at the police academy for the two Bristol police officers. Uh, continue to pray for their families, too, because that's the ultimate sacrifice. And you always put on that uh, vest and everything else, not, not knowing if you're going to come home or not. 
Um, and that was a good lead way for me to share my faith as well with many officers to have that peace and that security for their family. John Summers is our guest, and he's also a part of something called the Apostle Store. Oh, yeah. Let our listening audience know what the Apostle Store is all about. You don't want me to sing, though, right? <laughs> if you or want tell to. jokes. Hey, you can do all that. <laughs> no, the Apostle over in uh, Southington on Spring Street, over by the, across from Staples, uh, is a, a gift store on one side with hats, shirts, Bibles, uh, all different things. And then on the weekend, on especially Saturday night, it just the other side of it is a after hours event where we have open mic, we have uh, different groups that come in and it's just a phenomenal night of worship and it's all free. There's no cover and there's coffee and tea and fellowship and shopping and everything else. And But you do gotta put up with some of my bad jokes and. <laughs> And uh, but we it's it's an amazing evening of uh, of worship and just fellowship and we had one group playing there once and the music was just was incredible it was like nine o'clock at night and I look out and I hear birds singing I've never heard birds singing at nine o'clock at night wow and I opened the door and uh, to the store and they were outside singing somewhere so just you know even creation will cry out and praise for God so mm. yeah. So you can catch John there throughout the week in the daytime, and then there's a, a Bible study in the evening on certain what? Days? Yeah, on the first and third Thursday of uh, of every month, uh, we have the men's uh, Bible gathering. It's more like a roundtable uh, because we have some great discussions. We just finished up uh, after the resurrection. We went into the Book of Acts, where the church went from there and uh, the Holy Spirit and how it, it, it emboldened these uh, believers to just share the gospel. And, and um, we just talk about all this stuff. And, um, and it's great because we edify each other with the Spirit in the room. And um, it's not about intellectual knowledge. It's about heart knowledge and about growing closer to Him and just uh, letting, you know, allowing God to just shine our light forward in a greater way. So I would encourage any man to come out, and we even feed you pizza and salad <laughs> and some cookies. It's, we break halfway through, and uh, again, you might have to put up with some jokes but it, it, and some tips, Yeah, but God is good. And then there's also uh, the open mic, monthly open mic, which takes place every last Saturday of the month, 6.30, yeah, yeah, yeah. open mic. Yeah. You can see John there. He's a, he's a great multitasker. He's behind the cash register. He's emceeing the event, and he's also the stand-up comedian. I mean, he's just <laughs> he's just doing it all. I mean, he's very busy on the monthly open mic. I was there. I experienced yeah. it a couple of times, and yeah. the owners are Brian, Brian and Jen, Brian and Jen. Thank yeah. God for them. Absolutely, be because they they come out of the pocket, their own pockets, and they have regular jobs, but they sacrifice to make this thing happen. Yep. You know, for believers to get together and fellowship and sing praise and worship and have Bible studies and open mics and John Summers. <laughs> <laughs> Seasons of life, where are you gonna end yeah. up? Just be available. Well, God bless you, John. Thanks for sharing, man. And, and you look comfortable, man. You are in short pants right now, short sleeve shirt. And uh, you, you went to the gym, you, you spilled your smoothie this morning, huh? It was a rough start this morning, yeah. <laughs> Knocking over my smoothie and it's just all over the place. And that's why I was a little running a little bit behind. But, you yeah. know, when you ask God for patience, things are going to come your way to be to refine you. So. There you go. So the monthly open mic, uh, 50 Spring Street? 50 Spring Street. Southington? Uh, Southington, right off of Queen Street. Um, not that far. State of Connecticut is small. Yeah. We get people to travel from all different places to come in, and there's some tremendous talent to come through. And yeah, one guy sang the national anthem or something, but it was like twisted a little bit. Oh, Jerry, there you are. Yeah. <laughs> I think you sang that song. Yeah, a couple of months ago. Yeah. 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 I, but, uh, I, I pull it out every now and then. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a great, like I say, uh, there's couches there. It's very comfortable. Right. Um, yeah. So. so one side is a gift shop. And store, and the other side is the is the venue, the open mic, and yep. it's it's a nice, unique situation for the body of Christ locally to come together and fellowship. John, thank you for sharing. God bless you, man. Hamden Police Department lost a good one, man. We we could use more <laughs> believing police officers out there, not locally but globally, you know. Amen. So I think I thank God for your service, man. God bless you and enjoy 
the rest of this day that God has given us. You as well. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. If you would like more information about what you heard today, call WHS 860 346 1049. 860 346 1049. The WHS Journal, it's News and Public Affairs.